Hello everyone. Today we will do class 9th chapter 11th constructions exercise 11.2 question number 4. Construct a triangle XYZ in which angle Y is 30 degree, angle Z is 90 degree and XY plus YZ plus ZX is 11 centimeter or sum of all the three sides are given or the perimeter of this triangle is 11 centimeter. So what you have to do here, first of all, draw a line segment of given length. Given length means here the perimeter is given to be 11 centimeter. Perimeter means sum of all the sides. So first of all, we will draw a line segment of length 11 centimeter. And we will give this line segment name AB. This name should be other than these representations given. So this is a triangle XYZ we have to construct. We will name this line as AB which is 11 centimeter. Now after this at A first of all construct angle of 30 degree as Y is given to be 30 degree. So we will first construct this angle as 30 degree so to construct an angle of 30 degree this is 60 we will bisect this angle to get an angle of 30 degree like this so this is an angle of 30 degree at a now see other angle is given Z equals to 90 degree. So at B, we will construct an angle of 90 degree. So it will be like this. A semicircular arc from this point. This is 60. This is 120. And from these two points, we will make two arcs of equal radii to get an angle of 90 degree like this. So this is an angle of 90 degree at B. Now the next step will be you have to bisect these angles right. You have constructed Y 30 degree Z 90 degree so at A angle of 30 degree at B angle of 90 degree now we will bisect these angles so let us bisect this angle so it will be like this from this point and from this point this point so it will be like this so we have bisected this angle of 30 degree to get an angle of 15 degree so this right let us bisect 90 degree also so from from this point it is this from this point it is like this so it will be bisected like this So bisector of both the angles we have drawn. Now where these bisectors are meeting? Bisector of 30 degree and bisector of 90 degree. Where this, these bisectors are meeting, let us name that point as X. That is out of these three vertices of triangle XYZ. In this way we have got one vertex which is X. Now the next step will be we will draw perpendicular bisectors of AX and BX. So let us draw perpendicular bisector of AX. So to draw perpendicular bisector we have to open our compass approximately more than half of AX. We are drawing perpendicular bisector of AX. So it will be like this. And this and from this X point we will cut these arcs 
so we have to draw it again from here like this so in this way we have got perpendicular bisector of ax see like this so this is the perpendicular bisector of ax now let this bisector intersect ab at y right see we have got the second vertex of x y z so this is vertex y and in the same way we will draw perpendicular bisector of b x earlier we have drawn perpendicular bisector of a x now we will draw perpendicular bisector of b x similar way more than half of b x one arc here one arc here and now from point x we will cut these two arcs it will be like this and like this so we will join them so this is the perpendicular bisector of bx and let this bisector intersect ab at z so this point will be z that is the third vertex of triangle x y z and our last point will be we will join x z and we will join and we will join x y like this see this is triangle x y z we can see here y is given 30 degree we can see and we can verify it using protector that this will be 30 degree z is 90 degree you can see from here this is 90 degree so x y z is the required triangle let us write steps of constructions now so So our first step will be draw a line segment AB equals to 11 centimeter. Second at A construct an angle of 30 degree and at B Construct an angle of 90 degree. Bisect these angles. Let the bisectors of these angles intersect each other at x fourth point will be draw perpendicular bisector of ax and let this perpendicular bisector intersect AB at Y. Fifth point will be draw perpendicular bisector of bx and let this perpendicular bisector intersect ab at z sixth join xy at x z then 
triangle XYZ is the required triangle.